Well, I called it. Matter of fact, a lot of YouTubers called it. Except for those who got the big Disney bucks. Try to convince you otherwise. And we're going to be talking about that as well. What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks, a show that we talk about everything and anything. And right before we get to the topic, I just want to remind you, if you do like the episode, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And also the little bell icon, that way you're notified about future Red Ace production videos, such as music videos, chunk reviews, and of course, you guessed right, more episodes of Red Ace Talks. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. We're going to be talking about the Marvels. Yes, the Marvels has had early screening for those critics. Uh, to watch it, get the reviews, try to convince you whether to see the movie or not. And what do you guys think the Rotten Tomatoes, the score is? Well, we have it here for those people who haven't checked. And let's do drum roll, please. 59% at 131 reviews. And that is bad. Oh, man, bad. That is bad. I know people who uh, talked about this, it was at 53%, but the what was it, the number of reviews, I believe, was at between 40 and 80. Uh, I think 80 being the most, but I don't think it was 80 at the time. I think it was below 80, but definitely over 40. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's rotten. It's rotten. And if you figure, if the score like that right now, uh, when the audience watches it, usually it's lower. I mean, you figure, Captain Marvel uh, had 75%, you know, certified fresh from the uh, critics but uh, the audience said fuck you no it's 45 rotten <laughs> and uh you know it, it, it's so sweet to see because it's weird too because it's the critics the critics are the ones that say no oh, fuck you this movie sucks <laughs> of course though you got the shills and the people who are paid off the reason why i say people are paid off uh, or shills uh for example ign now ign i've questioned ign for many years Sometimes they're right with their reviews, um, and sometimes they're wrong. But this case, this is something that's mind blowing. Because I remember I told my friend uh, about the uh, review. Cause I saw it earlier in the day, and even he couldn't believe it. And it, this is insane. What do you guys think that IGN, you know, rated this before I even show you? For those people who didn't know, like, what would you guys guess? What number? It's one through ten. What do you guys guess? Okay, ready? Eight for great. <laughs> oh, 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 I gave you the money. Oh, oh. <laughs> Big Disney bucks. <laughs> money, 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 money. Because, you know, it's either that or they're shilling. You know, either way. You know, the verdicts, they're praising the movie. You know, Marvel's is a triumph. Its death can be seen not just through its characters, but through its story as it explores war's complicated fallout, the difficulty of being a human when you are perceived as a monolith, and the hilarious and complicated virtues of family. Both funny and heartfelt, Nia DaCosta's MCU debut will have you asking when she and her lady ladies are coming back immediately after the credits roll. It's a pity that the villain isn't given much to do, though. But you know what? That's Marvel because Marvel sucks at making villains, except for Thanos. You know, I, that's always been my argument. Even when Marvel was good with phases one, two, three, uh, I always always complained that the villains, you know, they always had a tough break. So that's that's a given. And by the way, um, whoever wrote this article, what was it? Amelia? Uh, yeah, Amelia. Nia DaCosta's not coming back. If you, I highly doubt she's watched this video, but if she is, she's not coming back. Wonder why? Because during phases four and maybe part of five, Kevin Feige wasn't paying attention. He wasn't doing nothing. All he was is putting his rubber stamp, his name, boom, boom, boom. Because phase four proved that Kevin Feige's a fucking hack. Ike Perlmutter was the one that did phases one through three. That's what everybody cherishes. And then once four happened, when they got rid of Ike Perlmutter... Kevin Feige was in full control, and he did nothing. Matter of fact, you want to know what Kevin Feige, what he reminded me, you know, of what all the articles I heard about? Jay and Salabal strike back. This is Kevin Feige. I, I, for shits and giggles, joking-wise, here we go. Gus. This is Kevin Feige right here. Gus. I'm Kevin. Busy. I'm busy. You're a true artist, Gus. You're a true, true artist, Kevin. You're a true artist. They love you, Kevin. Fucking hack. And to believe... 
that this guy is going to, you know, uh, run uh, Star Wars, rumored to run Star Wars once Kathleen Kennedy leaves. Went from one bullshit burning ship into another sinking ship. But we'll talk about that in another video. Getting back to the Marvels. Um, one more thing is that this kind of proves my theory right. This came from Geeks and Gamers, which I will leave the link down below. I, it's a very interesting video to see. It is uh, Chris Gore's, uh, you know, his review of Captain, uh, sorry, The Marvels. And what he said in the beginning of this, though, interests me because this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, just take a listen and let's hear about. Be half full. I can tell you for a fact that a lot of the people that are on social media praising the film. I was walking out talking to people whose tweets I saw later who are full of shit, who basically were saying that was terrible, that was so bad, that's the worst. Is it is it worse than Eternals? That was the discussion in the hallway after. Wow. And then I see these same people that I was having a very pleasant discussion about a bad movie we all just saw completely lie on Twitter and give a different opinion. You really? Imagine. <laughs> I cut that. He's, he's funny. He's like, really? Imagine that. <laughs> but it's it, it, right there, right there. Either the check cleared, money went into the bank. Uh, they got a gift bag because I I heard that too. They get gift bags and those fucking special screenings, whatever, for the critics. So that way they could convince them to give them a good rating. Or these people shilled. They shilled. They shilled. They got scared. They shilled. And they simped. They did whatever. They 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 wanted to lie lie to their audience, bullshit their audience, so that way they could be in favor of the House of Mouse, and maybe the House of Mouse will hire them for the future. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. If I say something sucks, it's gonna you know it's you know, it might to me it sucks. How about that? To you it might not. And this is what I'm gonna say also is that if you want to watch the ball, uh, you know the Marvels. That is your prerogative. You do what you want. That is your hard-earned money. You know what? You know, and so on and so forth. But economy sucks. The economy is tanking like hell. And I'm trying to do you a favor. Just please wait. Wait. If you want to see this movie, wait. Don't go to the theater. Don't give Disney their bucks. Don't give Disney your hard-earned money. Please. You know, I beg of you. But, you know, if you want to watch it, there's really nothing else I can do inside. You know, that's your prerogative. You do what you want. You know, it's a free country. <laughs> but my recommendation, I wouldn't do it because Marvel has fallen off the cliff into pure toxic feminist. Yes, that's what this is. Because the person who wrote this article for the IGN, she's a female, and I'm pretty sure she's a feminist. I'm pretty sure she was a toxic feminist because she gave it an 8 out of 10. That's why she shilled. Either that or she got paid off. I'm not sure, but it's either or. There's no way because every single other critic said this movie fucking sucks. Okay? Every single other critic. You got the New York Post even said this fucking movie sucks. But then again... They're not into superhero movies, so I really didn't want to uh, share that article. But they, you know, the article, so the title was, is that this is the worst MCU movie ever made. And I hope that when this is brought out to the audience, and I hope that this is worse than The Flash when it comes to uh, the revenue. So that way it could show Disney enough is enough with this bullshit this narrative with the messages and the woke bullshit that's what needs to happen in order to make them understand you got to hit them where it hurts and that is in the pocket okay that's the only way anyways i don't know what are you gonna do uh <laughs> what do you guys think are you guys gonna see the marvels let me know down down below in the comments if not let me know down in the comments down below anyways think it sucks let me know that's what it's all about thank you guys so much for tuning in uh thank you guys for sticking around for this long if you have uh until then the past and the present and the future thank you guys so much again you guys are awesome keep it real guys stay safe see you later